I'm Jerry Fultz in beautiful, sunny South Florida after an exciting Saturday of the semifinal action Live Golf Miami Team Championships. The whole season comes down to this week. Four aces captain and defending champion Dustin Johnson took on the legend that is Phil Mickelson in a singles match. This at the third hole, his second shot would be conceded. He would move one up in the match at that point. But then you move ahead to the 17th hole, and this second shot would lead to a 2-1 and one and vital victory for the four aces. Dustin Johnson beating Phil Mickelson in the deciding match, the second point of the three points available in our semifinals matches. Joaquin Neiman is the captain of Torque GC, and he played very, very well today in his singles match. Joaquin Neiman going up against Louis Oosthuizen, captain of Stinger GC. That was his second at the seventh. Went to two up. Then at number three, his birdie putt led to a two and one victory. Teammate Sebastian Munoz at one point birdied five out of six holes. This at number nine, a birdie to go three up in his singles match over Brendan Grace. It was a lopsided one indeed, actually winning six holes in a row at one point. Munoz at the 11th for birdie to go to five up. Went on to win seven and six. Bryson DeChambeau, captain of the Crushers, trying to keep his team's dreams alive of a team championship. That at number two, birdie putt. He moves to one up in his singles match against the resurgent Martin Keimer, captain of the surprise cliques in the semifinals. DeChambeau at the 11th, that second shot led to a four and three victory. Bryson DeChambeau showed a huge vote of confidence in Paul Casey by putting him out in this other singles match. And Paul Casey showed him why at 18, birdie putt long range, two up in his singles match. Paul Casey playing Richard Bland, the 50 year old success story that is live golf then. Paul Casey moves on to the fourth, the par three. This tee shot would put him five up in that match and he would go on to win six and five. But the man of the hour, the man of the year, the player of the year, the individual champion crowned last week in Jeddah. Taylor Gooch for the Range Goats made that par putt at number three to go one up in what was the deciding match for the Range Goats over Eugenio Chicada. This is second shot at number 10, and that would seal the deal. Two putts from there would be all that's needed for the range goes to advance over the fireballs into the stroke play finals on Sunday. Four teams alive, $50 million on offer. Tune in, one o'clock Eastern time, right here to watch the exciting conclusion.